Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We have a brand new tank to play with in DCS, which is great. It's part of the China pack. It is a ZTZ-96. We actually get the Bravo, the most modern version, and it is, of course, a Chinese tank for the PLA. So it was the 96, the 96A, and the 96B, which we get first seen in July 2016. So it's pretty much brand new, which is awesome. Let's look at some numbers. Bear in mind, some of these numbers are going to be mixed between the variants, so take it with a pinch of salt. It's a main battle tank, obviously. It's Chinese it's used nowadays it's manufactured by first inner mongolia machinery factory apparently mass of just under 43 tons those are the dimensions there is three crew the type of armor of the 96 bravo is not known but we're going to assume it is like the a modular applique armor and fy4 era plates on the front hull main armament is a 125 millimeter pretty much standard issue smooth ball gun capable of firing anti-tank guided missiles and depleted uranium rounds which is going to be interesting to use these we have apparently a hull uh, coaxial machine gun but i don't think the bravo has that I stand to be corrected i don't think we can use it in dcs and we have a half inch uh, air defense machine gun which can be used for ground targets engine diesel and our upgraded engine is between a thousand and twelve hundred uh, horsepower operational range of around 400 kilometers a maximum speed of 65 kilometers okay let's go and use it in dcs okay we're in game now let's choose the blue blue coalition we're going to use a tactical commander we could use a game master if we wanted okay let's go and find our guy here and let's click on this sign here to drive it manually let's look at some very basic controls to move forwards to reverse turn left turn right change the turrets change the weapon in the turret Change down a gear, change up a gear. At the top here, we have the heading of our turret. Here we have AI information, not relevant per se. Here we have our laser ranging finder that we'll look at in a bit. Here we have the type of ammo, the weapon and the type of ammo and the amount of ammo, immediate for use and in the magazine. Here we have the current gear we're in. Here we have the speed in miles per hour. Here we have the azimuth of our hull. Here we have the azimuth of our turret as opposed to our hull, as opposed to the compass rows and here we have the hit points of our vehicle let's look at views f1 will give us an inside view if we press the insert key then we can drive the tank from out here we're going to use the mouse to rotate our turret aim up and down insert and we can do the same in here press and hold right mouse button and we get the zoomed in feature f7 gives us an exterior view we cannot drive from this view we cannot use the turret this is purely the viewing you can see the model is a pretty high definition model good modern chinese pack model Let's look at some movement. We're going to put it in gear with X-ray. Uh, that's neutral. Now put it in gear with X-ray. Accelerate. Turn left. Turn right. And if we wanted to, we <laughs> if we wanted to reverse, into reverse gear and accelerate. And so on. Back into neutral. Next, let's look at the turrets. We have this, obviously the main turret. Press Q back. We get the secondary turret. Here is our half-inch gun find some bad guys to shoot at we've got some uh, various vehicles here right click and i can get a, a, a sighted view we've got some depression markers there left mouse button fires get on get on we damage soft skin vehicles but not much hope uh, hitting an m1 from here or damaging an m1 no damage there zoom out Back to our main turret. Cycle through weapons. We get 12 with 10 in reserve of 125 AP. We get 7 of 10 in reserve of 125 mil AP. These, I think, are the depleted uranium. Stand to be corrected. And we get the ATGM. So if we can find some targets. To fire the ATGM, it's a smooth bore gun, so it will be fired down the barrel. I will simply zoom in, left mouse click, and I will guide the missile wherever I want to go with the turret. Boom! And you can see it's reloading. I have now two rounds left with three in reserve. Back to first stage armor piercing. In terms of aiming and adding lead, I can either do it by eye, so I could kind of add a lead like that, or I could do it the proper way, and that is hover over the vehicle, press the lemur key, and it will range the vehicle, and it will automatically tilt the gun upwards to compensate for lead. So watch the gun as I press lemur. It's aimed up slightly, and you can see it's range on the bottom, 723. I'm not sure if that's feet or meters. I'll have stand to be corrected, whatever that is. And it's automatically set our lead now and fire. Boom! Target! 
We can also lock onto a vehicle, which is going to help us, especially if it's a moving target, by pressing the return button on this guy here. Gunner, Sabo, truck, designate. You can see that's given us information of where to aim there. And if the truck was moving, it would give us lead information. It tells us what type of Vic it is and its range, and whether it's in range or not at the bottom left of the screen. Press backspace to unlock. All we need to do now is test the armor piercing characteristics so we've got an m1 here we're going to laze and try and hit it in the side of the turret and see what damage we do lazed fire ceasefire. we uh, destroyed the air m1 with one shot to the side turret m1 we're now going on the side cheek armor we're going laser designate fire it's bounced off the side cheek We'll designate again in a second. Laser designate. Bounce off the side cheek again. Let's try and get an oblique hull shot. Laser ranged. Fire. And the oblique size shot penetrated. And finally, a frontal shot. We'll try hull, then turret. Laser range. Fire. No dice. We'll try again. Front armor of these Abrams is really thick, so we might not even get through at all. I think we could be here all day doing this. Out of interest, we'll try the other type of ammo that we've got. It doesn't say anywhere what that type of ammo is, so we just have to guess. It's the depleted uranium. Whoops. Okay, let's try this. Three days. Fire. Oh, -ho! so that. That we think is a depleted uranium then, which actually penetrated the front armour, which I, I've never seen a tank do before, so that's interesting. Damage is relatively realistic in DCS, so that if the guy was further away, my shot had this power, it would take more shots to kill him on a certain type of shot. Different angles and different faces, roughly speaking, um, cause different damage effects. Now we'll show controlling it from a Game Master or Tactical Commander point of view. In the F10 map here, we click our guy here. And if we wanted to move him, set path and left click, left click, right click to confirm, choose his speed, miles per hour, and choose his ROE. Do we want him to uh, fire or return fire or hold? We're going to go to fire, state, we're going to send him green, red, or auto. We're going to send him to red. We can add targets here, and let's say we wanted to add a target of, oh, that's convenient, an M1A2 there. We can start fire, we can remove targets, we can set targets via uh, that lat long, change the target radius if we don't want to attack a particular target. Let's go and watch him, shall we? Got an Abraham steaming towards him. Pion! Get some! Boom! Boom! Oh ho ho! Wow, we lost! Here's that uh, fancy Chinese armor, wasn't all it was made out to be. I've got a show. Hope that was useful and see you later.